What's good guys, it's your boy Coach Trifers. We've got a new season start, so this means there will be a new sets of episodes coming out. And in this episode today, we'll be talking about the front swap backside to 70 island skis, which is also known as the infamous KFAD. So, what do you need in order to learn the KFAD? First of all, you need to be comfortable sliding any rails or box. Ideally, you want to start it off on a straight tube or rail or a slight down slope down rail just to make it easier to learn a trick. And speaking of the tricks itself, as I just mentioned, sliding, front side switch ups, and potentially back set to 70 yards by themselves. But if you can't, or if you're not really that confident with back twos, You'll still get them with the front swap anyway since this trick is so natural in itself because it's a continuing movement trick there's no pretzel action going on so therefore you will be having a quite an easy time to learn the trick also as a little hint or more like likely learning life hack at first for that trick especially for young very young up-and-comer comp skiers you want to learn the cave at first maybe with an unnatural slide going into that trick so when you do the front side switch up you will be then standing on your natural leading foot and therefore you're allowed to basically do the back set to 70 out in your natural spring direction so for example i myself am a regular right foot forward rail slider obviously now we do it both ways but i start off with a right foot first and then i basically learn to do the front swap starting off with the left foot on front swap into it and then press with my right leading foot now with the back side edge into it and then do a natural left side to 70 out and that basically enhanced all my comp runs and also just makes the trick so much easier itself where we actually now at a, us adults are talking that the KFIT is not actually a trick anymore which is not actually true it's still a trick but you know it's as easy as it can get so it's a very good trick for you guys to learn first and you'll be kicking KFITs on any obstacle once you got them down. All right, let's talk about the takeoff and the switch up that follows from it. As you can see now in those three sets of replays, there's not too much special things going on. I'll just approach the rail as usual in a slight angular way, jump up to the rail. I keep my focus to the end of a rail because you do that in order to make sure you can actually make it to the end of a rail. That's just a little trick. But there's a small thing you might have to take into account. It's about weight distribution. As I jump up, I have, let's say, 70 to 80% on my trailing leg. My trailing leg in that case is my right leg, and my leading leg is the left leg. So I do that because then I have most of my stability on the trailing leg, and my leading leg can actually focus on moving up. As you can see in the video replays, the second I jump on nicely and I made sure I made it onto the rail nice, I instantly move up my leading leg upwards. So you do that by pressurizing your heels into the rail and move up the noses in order to create friction. This friction will actually stop my initial momentum to get onto the rail and do the 90 degrees to be left foot forward. So I can then actually stop it and then start spinning on the box. Spinning is maybe like a bit of an over exaggeration as I don't really spin but I create a mini baby momentum and if you really look closely now in the sets of replays you can see after I landed on the rail and I angled up my ski in order to pressurize it and create friction so I can do the counter movement into the front side switch up you will see I start spinning just a little bit it's maybe only 10 or 20 degrees on the rail And the cool part about doing this trick with that technique is you will start feeling this spin momentum on the rail, right? And as you start feeling that you start spinning, you want to then use that and jump up, land, do the 180 switch up, right? So it's basically going straight, jump up, land nicely, most of the weight on the trailing leg, use the leading leg angle it up, start to feel friction, use actually power and your, your strength of your leg and as you feel it you start turning into the other direction on the obstacle and as you feel that you're gonna bring up your arms and shoulders, pop up, do the 180 and land nicely on the rail again.
So now that I've covered how to get on top of the rail for a K-Fan and do the switch up, that is the most important part of the trick, we'll be talking now about how to make the back such a 70 outfit and to bring this trick home. Well, as you might have seen, the switch up is the most hard part on this trick and I say quote unquote hard because it's just a switch up, but this switch up basically sets the trick. What I mean by that is if you do a good front side switch up with a good momentum and strong spin, the back set to 70 out is just a result of the continuing motion of the switch up, which means the better you do your front side switch up, the easier the back set to 70 out will get. So as you do the front side switch up, ideally you want to do a little bit more than 180. Why? Because as you do a little bit of more than the 180, your shoulder will be turned in as you land on the, on the rail, box or whatever obstacle you'll be doing it on. And when your shoulder is already tucked in this way, your back is more likely to face towards the landing, which then allows you to look already ahead for the back set to 70. That makes sense, right? And if you watch the replays closely, you will see I'll always make use of a good switcher. So, there's nothing more actually for you guys to worry about as to really focus on making a proper switch up with more than maybe 180 degrees. And as you land, angle down your new leading ski downwards. That just helps you accelerate the momentum onto, on, the, on the feature. And as you accelerate it, you want to look straight ahead of the rotation, not really down, not up. Just keep it smooth and look around your shoulder. Try to spot for the landing and you'll finish this back to 70 off with no problem at all. That was it for today's episode on how to do the K fat on skis. I hope this tutorial will help you to learn this trick. And if there's any questions or some points were a bit unclear because I mumbled or whatever had a bad pronunciation or some things were just too complex, make sure that you just leave me a comment. I'll get back to you and try to help you out in your specific case. And yeah, keep tuning in for this series of tutorials and for some edits and other things that will be coming up over the season. Really excited to bring you along what I'm trying to shoot at during this winter. And yeah, that was it. How to cave it, Coach Travis out. Catch you in the next episode. Later.